When we begin teaching throwing, it helps to work backwards in our throw. So the first thing we like to do is called a wrist snap because that's the last thing we do as we're throwing. What happens is we make sure we have a nice grip on the ball, grabbing across the seams, making sure that we have space in between the ball and our palm. We find our C, grab the seams, space in between our palm and the ball. And what we're going to do is we have our feet shoulder width apart, and then we grab the ball, hold right below our wrist, so our elbow is 90 degrees. And what we're going to do is we're going to snap just our wrist. We're not using any of our arm, literally just our wrist. As you snap, you want to make sure that the ball actually rolls off your fingertips so you have all four seams going through the air. What also helps to think is like a clock. Up here we have 12 and 6, so you want the ball rotating on a 12-6 spin. That way all four of these seams are actually cutting through the air. I have two ladies here that are going to be demonstrating the wrist snaps for you. They're making sure that the only thing moving on their arm right now is their wrist. That's why we have their hands placed right below their wrist and they're snapping. As they snap, of course, they want to make sure the ball rolls off their fingertips. Good. Fingers finish pointing down. And the ball has tight spin, remembering to try and keep that clock in their mind. 12 6 spin, 12 6 spin, which makes the ball go straight and, of course, faster. Good. Good, thank you. Having soft hands and bringing it into her body. Back, back foot, back toe on the back of the mouth. Not yet. Having soft hands and bringing it into her body. Back, back foot, back toe on the back of the mouth.